Hello, welcome to this ArtCam Insignia demonstration. What I'm going to be showing you is how to use the 3D modeling tools within ArtCam Insignia. And I'm going to quickly run through what you can actually do by using the relief creation tools and show you how you can create this flower that I have here very, very quickly. I'll just rotate this around so you can see this. You can see it's quite a detailed piece and this is done very, very easily using ArtCam Insignia. So the first thing that I'm going to do is go to File and New Model and I'm just going to create a new model. And I'm going to switch to the 3D view, turn on my zero plane and I'm also going to turn this blue area here off, which is the material. So I don't need that because I'm just going to be doing 3D design today. So I'm not going to be doing any tool paths with this part. I just want to show you the 3D design capabilities within ArtCam Insignia. So I'm going to take a view from the top. And what I'm going to do is create a couple of vectors or lines and I'm going to use these as a basis to create my relief. So what I'm going to do is select to create a polyline and I'm going to draw smooth polylines. And what I'm going to do is just select anywhere here, select further over here. Now you can see that that's going straight, but you can see that I'm get getting this bend because I've got smooth polylines turned on. I'm going to bring that to the top like so. So I've got that sort of bend there. Press space on the keyboard and it allows me to create another polyline. And I want to make sure that I've not got add to existing line turned on because I want to create another line here. I don't want it to be part of the original one. So here you can see I've got two separate lines. And what I'm going to do is just draw let's say a squiggly sort of line here let's say like so over there okay now the reason that i've done this is to use one of the most advanced tools that we have in artcam which is the two rail sweep and this allows you to do some really advanced modeling so what i'm going to do is open up the two rail sweep which is here and this opens up a dialog box. Now, this dialog box is quite large and it can look a bit daunting at first, but it's very, very easy to use. Now, what the two rail sweep actually does is basically extrudes a section through two lines. So basically it's got two drive rails and then you have a cross section that is extruded across there. Now you can add as many of these cross sections as you wish. What I'm going to do is just select that as the top drive rail, that as the bottom drive rail. Now you'll see that I get these arrows. I need to make sure that those are going the same direction. Otherwise I would have a twisted relief. And I'm going to select that as a cross section. So it's basically going to extrude this cross section along both of these rails. Now I can add as many of these cross sections as I wish so I can actually modulate the shape as it goes along and I can also modulate the Z height so I could add a Z control vector so I could have it going in the opposite direction also. And what I'm going to do is just select calculate so this is going to be a very basic shape. So this is going to give me this sort of leaf shape. Okay and now I can close the two rail sweep, delete all of those vectors. And what I'm going to do is just open up the relief clip art library. And I've created a folder in here called Insignia Webinar Temp. And what I'm going to do is just grab that relief and drag and drop it into that folder. And you can see that it's given me a thumbnail of this relief and it's called relief. So what I'm going to do is right click on that and rename that to leaf and then press enter. So I've got my leaf in there. 
Okay, so what I'm going to do now is to press here to reset the relief, and that will get rid of the relief that I have there. I can also close the relief clip art library. What I'm going to do now is to create a circle. So this is the next part of the design basically. So let's click anywhere on the screen and I'm going to create a circle with let's say a 70 millimeter radius. Click create. Now I'm going to center that in the model by selecting here. And you can see that this is perfectly round. Now I don't want it to look like that because this is going to be for the head of a flower. Flowers are not perfectly round. So what I'm going to do is do something that we call node editing. So I can basically modify points on this circle. So if I select here for node editing, you can see that I get these four points. And what I can do is just move them and you'll see that it basically makes it not a uniform circle. So you can see it changes it. Now, if I wanted to, I can insert a point. Just press I on the keyboard when I'm hovering over and I can insert a point. And I can just move that like so. I can move that round. Let's say that that looks okay. So when I'm happy with that, I can just click on the screen and exit the node editing. And you can see that this has given me this much more realistic uh, circle. What I want to show you now is the shape editor. Now this is basically the go-to tool that we use in ArtCam to create reliefs. Now you can access this by either double clicking on the vector, you can press F12 on the keyboard or selecting the icon here. And this opens up the shape editor. Now you have various options for this. You can create a dome, a beveled edge, or a flat surface. And what you can do with this is you can change the angle of these so you get less of a dome. You can have it going negative, or you can have it full, let's say for instance, so it's a completely rounded dome. And what I'm going to do is bring that down, let's say to about 30, like so. Let's just type that in. You can also give it a start height so it adds a flat before the dome actually starts. And you can also limit this to a height if you wanted to. So you could limit the actual dome. So it would create, let's say, a radius around the edge of something. Okay, so I'm just going to select add, and this is going to calculate the relief and create this dome for me. So if I close that, you can see that it's created this dome. Okay, now what I'm going to do is add some texture onto this so it looks a bit more realistic. At the moment, this doesn't look like a flower head. So what I'm going to do is, if I wanted to, I could use the texture relief. And what I could do is do the whole of the relief, selected vector or selected color. Now, if I select selected vector and I use the pre-generated textures, so I could use a spherical texture and add that. And you can see that it's added this spherical texture onto the top of that. I can change the size of that if I wanted to and the height. So you can see that that's added this texture. Undo that, I could use say for instance a weave if I wanted to. It gives this woven effect. I change the spacing of that. Lots of different parameters that I can change there. And I can also use from file. So that lets me take an image. So let's say a photograph of a flower, for instance, and I can drop that onto the top of this. Now you can either do that using this dialog box or my preferred way is to go to reliefs and select import. So I'm going to import this flower. And you can see that this gives me a relief and I can move this around, I can resize this. Now you wouldn't be able to place this in the correct orientation if you use the texture relief dialog. So what I'm going to do is just move that like so. And that looks okay. So when I'm happy with that, make sure that I've got add selected as the combine mode because I want to add it onto the top of this. If I had merge high selected, it would basically merge as you can see. So you wouldn't actually see anything. 
So if I select paste, you can see that that's added that onto the relief. Now you can also see that it's added the whole of the image in the background here. And I don't particularly want that. I just want it to be on the flower head. So what I can do is to select the vector, open up the shape editor again, and then I have two options here called zero and zero rest. Now if I use zero, basically this is a trimming tool or a cutting tool. So you can see that that gets rid of the inside. I undo that, use zero rest, it gets rid of the outside. You can see that this is a little bit rough at the moment. So what I'm going to do is use the smooth relief tool. I'm going to do this over the selected vector and let's use one pass. And now what this does, it basically smooths all of the relief that's within that vector. So let's select apply. You can see that that's smoothed that out. Let's do it again. You can see that it's smoothed it a little bit more. So I can close that now. And you can see that I've got my flower head with this texture on the top. So what I'm going to do is drag that into the Relief Clip Art Library, like so. Okay, so what I'm going to do is rename that to Flower Head. And you can see I've got the leaf and the flower head in there. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, again, reset the relief, delete the vector. And I'm going to bring that flower head back in because I want this to be as a piece of floating clip art in blue. And I'm going to center that within the model. I'm going to bring in the leaf also. So you can see I've got this leaf. It's a little bit too big at the moment. So what I'm going to do is just grab that and move it just so it comes in, let's say like so. And then what I can do is just move that to, let's say around about there. Let's maybe make it a little bit smaller. Like so. Now you can see at the moment that this is quite high, this leaf is. So what I'm going to do is just change the Z range. So let's change that down to 10. Select apply. And you can see that that's dropped that down. Okay, so I'm going to take a plan view of that. And what I'm going to do is copy this leaf now. I can maybe make the leaf a little bit smaller, like so. And what I'm going to do is grab this blue rotation point and I'm going to put that in the center of the flower, like so. Now you can see that when I get to the center of that flower, it's automatically snapping to the bottom of this area here. Now, if I didn't want that to happen, just need to zoom in a little bit and just find the center there. So what I'm going to do is press control down on the keyboard and with the rotation symbol on the outside, I'm just going to left click and I'm going to create some copies of these leaves like so. Now I can select all of those and transform that as well and select to copy those also. So I'm just creating some copies of this, maybe create one more copy here like so, and then select all of these except for the center, transform those again, and let's create a copy of those, like so, and let's make them a little bit smaller, let's say around about there. Now you can see when I zoom in that these are the same height, so what I'm going to do is drop these back ones down, let's say about five millimeters, just so they sit underneath nicely. And then I can close the transform tool. And you can see that my flower has taken shape. Now the problem that I have at the moment is that if I were to paste this down, you can see that there are areas that are overlapping the actual model and these wouldn't be shown. So what I need to do is go back to transform and just resize this just so it all fits within the model. And then I can paste this down. Make sure that I select merge height so all of these leaves merge into each other. 
and there you can see my finished flower. So you can see, you can get some really detailed reliefs created with Artcam Insignia really, really quickly. Now if I wanted to, I could use this for something else in the future. So what I'm going to do is select to drag that into the Relief Clip Art Library. Let's rename that to Flower. And let's say maybe in the future I want to create, let's say a really weird textured panel. So let's take a plan view of that and let's reset that. And I'm just going to grab that flower, maybe make it a little bit smaller, like so. Let's maybe place that there. And I'm going to create some copies of this. So let's use the block copy rotate. Going to rotate copy, select apply. And you can see that this is giving me this really strange pattern. So I can paste that down. And you can see all of this weaving in, in the center. Now I quite like that. So what I'm going to do is cut this out. So let's create a rectangle. Let's say around about there to cut this out. And what I can do is just double click on that to open up the shape editor and zero rest that. And you can see that that's cut just that section out. So that's all that I have. What I can do is make this a bit smaller. As you can see, it's quite large. So let's scale the relief down. Let's bring that down to, let's say 2.5 millimeters and apply. And you can see that I've got this pattern here. Okay, so I can send that back to the Relief Clip Art Library. Let's reset this. And I'm going to bring that back in. Let's place that just down the bottom here. And I'm going to do a block copy rotate again, but this time I'm going to use the block copy. Select apply. And you can see that that's created all of these copies of that particular piece. And I can center that in the model. And then let's paste that down. And you can see that that's given me this pattern. So you can see that it's given me this texture relief. Just apply a smoothing pass to this. And you can see that this has given me this textured panel. And I can save that back into the Relief Clip Art Library if I wish to use at a later date. So I hope that you found this demonstration enjoyable. This was just showing you some of the 3D tools that you can use within ArtCam Insignia to create your reliefs.